Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda or also known as Cozyaholic. And for today's video, we are back with some more summer decorating. This video is in continuation from my decor haul that I posted a couple days ago. So if you are new here and you haven't watched that video, I will leave a link to that down below. I am wearing the exact same dress actually that I filmed in that one because they're just being filmed back to back. But anyways, I hope you enjoy today's video and let's hop on to decorating. So starting with the formal living room, this is the before and the biggest update that's going to be happening in this room is the chairs that I have right now. So I just recently purchased the newest Studio Miggy Pacific Palisades boucle chairs and those are going to be replacing these current ones. So I went ahead and just pretty much cleared out everything. I went ahead and moved the chairs, the lamp, the plant, which is going to be relocated to another corner. And I pretty much just placed the bouquet chairs right next to each other. I thought that that would be like the best way. I considered doing them kind of angled. I don't know. I might end up doing that at some point. But because they're not swivel chairs, I just felt like that would be unnecessary. Um, but anyways, I went ahead and vacuumed and then I placed the chairs here. I will definitely say that I love them so much. If you want a little review on these chairs, definitely go ahead and check out my decor haul. I will leave a link to that down below. So another piece that I also picked up from the newest collection is this beautiful floor lamp. I'm sure all of you guys have seen it. I love the brass finish that it has and it also was super easy to assemble. I will say that after purchasing all these new pieces, I have such a deep hatred for styrofoam. It is so messy and the static that comes with it, you guys, like literally if a piece of it breaks off, like it's just impossible to clean it up. It's so messy, especially having toddlers and I have a 10 month old and a two year old and my 10 month old likes to eat everything so like i kept finding little tiny pieces of styrofoam everywhere and and i kept catching her trying to eat it and it was just so frustrating but anyways rant over um this lamp was super easy to assemble and i just love it so much so pretty love the finish of it i have i did see some people complaining about how much how yellow it was honestly i love it i think it gives it a very luxurious feel and it's my favorite lamp ever All right, so moving on to my coffee table. I didn't do many updates here, but I did replace the current green leaf stems that I had, and I placed these hearth and hand stems that I also purchased uh, just recently. Like I said, if you guys are interested in any of these links, you can check out the decor haul. I have all the links to this down there, um, but yeah. And then I love the stems because they're so wispy and summery, and I just thought it would be so great. I typically love changing my greenery about two to three times within the same season just to kind of keep things fresh. And I don't like staring at the same thing, you know, for months to come, especially because every season's about what, like two or three months, I think. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I'm not really sure. I don't really keep up to date with that. But anyways, that is what it looks like right now. And then I just moved a couple things around on the coffee table. Nothing too crazy, but there's just so many ways to style a coffee table that it's just really hard to choose. Moving on to this corner, if you watched my last decorating video, then you'll remember that I was having a little bit of trouble with what to place here, and I ultimately decided that my faux tree would look great here. I just added some moss, and that completed the look. So I wanted to talk about today's sponsor and that is Dom Vitas. They are a luxury textile brand that provides some of the most durable fade and pilling resistant pillow covers. I'm specifically obsessed with their boucle covers. As you guys know, I'm like literally obsessed with boucle currently. They have some of the most beautiful aesthetic colors. They match with anything and they add that extra level of cozy that you might be missing in your home. I shared these over on Instagram and I had a couple Instagram friends already message me about how much they love them. If you don't have these yet, you definitely need them. 
They're at such a great price point for literally the same or even better quality than other name brands like CB2, 23rd by DN, and many others that literally their prices are like $70, which I think is just astronomical. They were also so, so kind to send me a huge discount code for you guys. So definitely take advantage of it before it expires. I will go ahead and leave a link down below in the description box for you guys. And thank you so much to Dom Vitas for sponsoring today's video. I'm seriously so in love with these pillows and I'm going to be talking about them for centuries to come because they are my favorite thing ever. And especially because right now Boucle is like my thing. Honestly, such a luxury feel of fabric. And honestly, probably my newest favorite fabric other than like Sherpa or like other, you know, fancy fabrics. This is definitely the top one on my list. But anyways, thank you to Don Vitas for sponsoring today's video. Let me know if you guys purchase any and yeah. Moving on to the couch here, I finally removed the old pillows that I had and I added two of the Dom Vitas Boucle pillows and then I also added a vintage rug throw pillow as well. I am definitely missing some more on the other side, but I am holding off on that for now. Um, I do want to see if there, you know, there are going to be some new seasonal pillows that are be going to be coming out for the fall season. I don't want to spend too much money on summer anymore just because I do want to splurge a little bit on fall decor. So I'm just kind of holding off on that, decorating very, very minimally, as you can see. And this is the final look for the living room, you guys. As you can see, it is so cozy looking. Oh my god, I am obsessed. But anyways, seriously, the boucle pillows just like completed this. Oh, chef's kiss. So lastly, for the small refresh in the guest bedroom, I added another decor book to this existing stack. And I also updated the little corner with a new vase that I purchased from Hobby Lobby as well as these stems. I love these because they're super wispy and I just, I've never actually run into them until recently. So I picked two of those up. And then on the other nightstand, I went ahead and added the vase that I originally had at my entry table. And it's always been there. I've actually never removed it. Seriously, since like last year, it's always been there. So I finally was like, okay, this needs to be moved. So I placed it here and I really love the way it looks. And then I also added this little tiny basket that I had at the edge of the bed. Um, and I'm actually doing a huge revamp on the entryway. So definitely stay tuned for that. And then lastly for the bed, I wanted to make it feel a little bit more cozy. So I added a quilt to the bottom of the duvet and then I just kind of wrapped it on top. And then I also added two of the Dom Vedas Boucle pillows and the color sand gray. That definitely completed the look that I was going for. I love it so much. It looks so much better than the other two that I had. And then I do think that I need to size up on the inserts. I want them to look a little bit more plush and just more like, like you want to, you know, jump in there and cuddle with them. So um, I don't have those right now. This is what I had in hand, but I definitely need to purchase some. If you guys know where I can buy some really good inserts, let me know. And that is the final look for the guest bedroom and pretty much to wrap up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know what your favorite part about this video was and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.